All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, we are back in Final Fantasy 16 once again, and we're gonna go ahead and grab this loot real quick, and then, ooh, prayer clamshells. We're still headed for Eastpool, and we are almost there. We got some windmills. Oh, really? The area seemed a very different place back then. I bet there's loot back here. Or maybe a side quest, if not loot. Oh, can you go up here? Doesn't look like it's roped off. <laughs> Looks like that's a way out as well. Alright, we'll head to the main area. This is probably just a side quest or something, or maybe it's just ambiance. Hard to say for sure. <clears throat> but yeah, let's continue on. Clive Rossfield. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. You have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy. Survived and. And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. There are a lot of quiet pauses in this game. Stay here. In Eastpool. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes, of course. Oh, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to. Oh. Please, there is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. 
I insist you rest. We can talk later. You... Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Remember that night on the balcony, when we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. Heavens must have a plan for us. We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Well. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. I'm sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. Suit you well. Looking nice. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. 
No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while, but seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Oh, whoa, we got some nice stuff there. Uh, Alright, character appearance. You can now change the outward appearance of Clive and his allies. Access the hideaways or reach stone to try out this new feature. Okay. Or our rep, or whatever you say. Um, Alright, cool. And then it looked like we got some... North. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. It looks like we got some uh, pretty nice gear there. Um... Invictus. Is that what we have equipped now? Oh yeah, it is. Nice. Okay, and that is actually better than what our uh, like starter item, not starter, but like uh, the stuff we got for free kind of. Median Cross is a lot better, obviously. Let's go. And then Median Bonds. Looking pretty nice. Still got these three things. That's fine. Alright, I think we're set to go. Um... Projectile? Should I swap this out? Let's see. It doesn't seem better. Heat wave. Yeah, I think rising flames is better. It's kind of interesting though. Might be um, heat wave might be a lower cooldown too. It's hard to say for sure. Uh, it's got exactly. Yeah. And then I got this as well. Rook's gambit. Jump act and deliver a punishing counter. If the jump evades an attack, counter potency is increased. Can be used in mid air. So yeah, we have wicked wheel. This one's, I think what I currently have is just better, but uh, we might try the Rook's Gambit like in the future. I wish you could e equip more than two at a time, but it is what it is. Uh, how, speaking of abilities, what do we have that we can upgrade? A few different things. Equipping heavier enemies, we'll launch climb into the air, Wicked Wheel. That's one of our abilities. Yeah, let's go for, um, let's master the Scarlet Cyclone. Oh, maybe not a master, master just upgraded. Okay. Um, that's fine. Phoenix Shift is maxed out. And then what else do we want to do? Let's do Gouge. Let's upgrade that. And we don't quite have enough for this. That's fine. All right, cool. I think we're good to go here. System. Oh yeah, that should be set to go. All right, let's head out. Uh, I'm assuming there's some side quests here, right? Oh, there's a shop as well. Should we check out the shop? Yeah, I think we should. Looks like he's up here. Right? Or am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. Right here. Hello, villager. Where are you off to then? Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect. All right. Anyways. Well, that's... <laughs> Gaia blade. Uh, no, it's just what, worse than what we have, but, uh, I mean, I guess I could grab it just to have it as an option, but I don't think I'm ever going to use it, so it's probably not worth it. This is just worse than what I have, so there's not much point of getting that. Um, I think I already have this, but I could be wrong. Breath of Wind, Meteorites, yeah, I think we're good there. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some stuff, though. Let's sell this Dark Sash. This should make me a few gil. Got anything crowns. else for me? Um, these should all be good. I don't think I really want to do that. But um, whatever it says can be sell traded for gil. Yep, let's do those. This should make me a few gil. Got anything else for me? All right, should be should be See good. You then. All right, make for Phoenix Gate. All right, let's head out then. <clears throat> doesn't look like it's terribly far. And then it doesn't look like we... Well, at least we did, do have the fast travel, but it doesn't look like there's any side quests here anyway, so... We should be fine. We could go explore. I wouldn't mind doing it if you guys want to see that, but... I think I'm good. Oh. You! Those are Elwins! By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, 
you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. All right, bat, let's form a small army. <laughs> Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastbourne. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rossfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long but still I would ask a favor of you a small mercy if it is within my power one of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn I don't ask that you take him into your service only that you meet with him let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. All right, prioritize quests. Back in the day. Let's do that real fast then. <clears throat> You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. <laughs> yeah, we do look pretty awesome, by the way. Alright, so we're not done with this area yet, anyways. I thought... Sure, I sorry, felt like it was freedom. kind of a waste to have this whole area here, but I guess you could do side quests in the future for it and stuff. So not a complete waste, but yeah, it looks like there is more important stuff we can do here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. She's got a pretty cool sword, too. the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Alright. Oh. Hello. Well now. Unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastbourne, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. 
Well, then it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> um, where else? Looks like down here, maybe. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceregan stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. What's hey, that look for? Hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper who might know where he is. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. Nice. Alright, uh sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace.